What's going on everyone? It's Alex. Thanks for joining me back on the channel and checking out this video. We have something really cool for everyone today. It's actually a video for the G37. And a couple weeks ago, my tuner, Vince Hafner from RT Tuning in Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania, he reached out to me and he said that Ecutech contacted him and wanted somebody to review their new product, which is the ECU uh, Connect. It's a little Bluetooth device that you plug into your OBD2 scanner, and you can actually monitor a lot of the parameters on your vehicle, change maps, that, that sort of thing, uh, basically just using an app on your cell phone. So I happily agree, he sent over the product, and today we're going to go over the product, hook it up, and check it out, and see how it is. So here's the cool case it comes in, it says Ecutech across it, so if we open it up, we can take a look what's inside. So apparently this is all you need. You just plug this in, like I said, to your OBD2 uh, port. Uh, you download the app onto your phone, and then you can monitor your vehicle just like you can with your laptop, except you don't have all these, you know, this big wire you have uh, to hook up, and then you have your big laptop that you got to, you know, position on the seat or in some way that's not going to you know, fly around your car as you're driving. So thanks to Ecutech's new product, all you need is this Bluetooth dongle and your cell phone, and you're good to go. So this is actually my first time checking out the product, open up the box. I haven't done anything to set this up, so everything you see will be, um, you know, what I'm doing for the first time just to show you how easy this is to set up. The only thing I've done so far is download the app from the App Store, and I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. So now we can head out to the car, plug this in, and see how cool it is. All right, so we're out here in the car, and we're going to go ahead and plug this module in and test it out, see how it works, and, you know, see kind of what we can do with this and how much it actually monitors of the car and, you know, how useful that information would be. So the first thing we're going to do is reach down here and plug this module into the OBD port, which is right over there. So just plug that in like that. So then once it's connected, you want to go into your settings and make sure it is connected to the Bluetooth. So there's the device there. Make sure we click it and connect. And as you can see there, it's now connected. So now we go over to our ECU Connect app. That's all you have to search in your app store or whatever your um, phone has. The nice thing is this is supported by both Apple and Android products. So we can go ahead and click on that now. And then this is the main screen of the app. Click on My Car. And it's going to prompt you to select a password. You see there, Infinity G37, and there's your list of all the things you can monitor, all the parameters there. So you can see you have General Info. This is the uh, tab you can click on to Data Log. And the car is currently running. You can see everything slightly changing as the car runs. And then you're able to start your Data Log and monitor, you know, for whatever, you know, RPM range or any set amount of time that you would like to monitor your car. So if you go down the list, after that, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You can switch maps, use valet mode if anyone else can be driving your car. Uh, this is a cool tool. This can this is where you can see any codes that your car may have. Um, I know I do have one code. I have a broken O2 sensor, so that's cool. You can go in and see all your codes. And you have a couple different tools for the ECM, uh, EC reset, idle relearn. And then you have this cool little section here, the performance analyzer. You can test different things, uh, 0 to 60, quarter mile time. Um, I am always skeptical about these, you know, performance analyzers, whether it's an app or, you know, a handheld device and how accurate it is. But nonetheless, we can go ahead and test that and see what we get. So if you go into settings, you can choose whatever you want to uh, test, 0 to 30, 0 to 60, so on and so forth. So just by looking at this app for the first time, I think there's a lot of information that you can monitor and stuff that you can change just from your cell phone. And that's really cool because up until now, most of the import tuning uh, software, you have to connect, like I said earlier, your laptop and you have that big, you know, long cable that's connected to the laptop. Your laptop's on the seat. And, you know, if you're doing any spirited driving to test the car, you know, your laptop's going to be flying everywhere and you have this wire dangling by your feet. But with this new ECU Connect feature that Ecutech has, everything is basically in the palm of your hand in your in your um, cell phone. And I know a lot of you have you know a cell phone holder that you can put you know right here wherever you may have it, and then you can just glance over here, check it out, and you don't have any of those you know wires running all over the place and a big laptop sitting on your uh, passenger seat. So now what I'm going to do is kind of just drive around the car a little bit, do some data logs, and maybe test the performance analyzer and, you know, see how this app works and see how uh, user-friendly it is. Um, like I said, I'm really impressed so far with what it has to offer, so let's see how it works. 
All right, so I just got back from testing out the new product from Ecutech, and I really enjoyed it. I did some data logging, and it's really nice to see, you know, you can obviously start and stop your data log and then go back and check it out. It's really nice to see just what your car is doing, again, without having to carry around, you know, a whole computer and have, you know, the wires hanging, um, you know, while you're driving. It's very convenient. Um, I'm not, you know... Uh, too well versed in the app just yet so I would like to get to know the product a little bit better so I probably will post a follow-up video and maybe go into more of a detailed tutorial on you know how it works and all the features of it I actually think there is a new update coming or maybe it's out already I'm not sure I have to check into it so if it's there or when it comes out I will update the app and uh, it seems like they're coming out with some cool stuff some you know some different interface that you can use and different gauges and all that so when I got my car tuned, um, you know, with the Ecutech software, I was very, very impressed. The car runs and drives excellent. I uh, have really nothing bad to say about the software. So um, this product is, is just the same so far. I have nothing, you know, to complain about with it. It just makes monitoring your car and, and sw you know, switching through maps and all that stuff just so much easier. And, uh, you know, you can do it right on the fly and there's, again, no worry about the computer. I'll post some links in the description with some more information directly from Ecutech about this product. I don't want to give any misinformation. Uh, I told you everything that I know personally about it, but I will post those links to give you some access to some more information. It's definitely something I would recommend. The app is compatible with both Apple products and Android, so that's great. And it really just opens up the doors in terms of, you know, a convenience factor when monitoring your car. And this is especially useful if it's, you know, heavily modified, boosted, or anything like that. So I want to extend a special thank you to my tuner, Vince over at RT Tuning in Pennsylvania, as well as Ecutech for sending me the product and letting me review it and test it out. I have, like I said, I have a lot more to, to check out with the app uh, and the product, and when that update is available, I have that much more to learn. So I will post a follow-up video once I learn this a little bit more and, you know, really can dive into the features of it. But let me know what you think. If this is something that you, you know, would like to get your hands on, you're interested in, um, you know, I think that it's definitely something that I would recommend to purchase. Even me, for someone that just has, you know, kind of a conservatively modified car, there's nothing crazy done to it. I'm just very picky about, you know, my car running right. So this is definitely something I would pick up for myself. And uh, I think it's, you know, be very useful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And stay tuned, like I said, to, you know, additional videos about this product and, you know, everything that it has to offer. Thanks for checking out the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. And uh, as always, thanks to everybody for their continued support. I really, really appreciate it. So uh, with that being said, I hope everybody has a great rest of their day, and I'll see you next time.